Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to talk about default constraint in structure query language. The default constraint is to set a default value for a column. And the default value will be added if no other value is specified. Like an example, we have the employee table and we have one default constraint added to the city field. So whenever we do not specify any value for the city, then the default value London will be used. Like an example, we have the employee table. We are going to add the default constraint to the city field of the employee table. And to do that, we have to simply write default and then we have to pass the default value. I'm going to pass London. So whenever we do not specify any value for the city, then the default value London will be used. And also we can create one default constraint when the table is already created. To do that, we have to use the alter table statement. So we have to write alter table, then the name of the table, employee, and then we have to write alter city. We have to set the default value to London. So this line of statement will set the default value London to the city field of the employee table. Now to drop the default constraint, we have to use alter table and then the name of the table and then we have to write alter city and then drop default. So this line of statement will drop the default constraint which has been applied to the city field of the employee table. So this is the way we can add the default constraint to one field of the table and whenever we do not specify any value for that field then the default value will be used. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.